Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about Madeline Klein, who is an actress. She's mostly known for playing in series such as Outer Banks, which is on Netflix, as well as she's been in the Knives Out movie. Uh, I think the Glass Onion one, which is the sequel. So that's my that may be why you have probably seen her before and if she seems a bit um, familiar, that's mostly why. So today I was thinking that I wanted to focus on her because she's in has been in the limelight for a little while now since she started dating Pete Davidson. And if there's one thing we know about Pete Davidson is that he will always date attractive and interesting women. There's something about his um, taste that is so interesting. And he also brings a lot of attention to himself on his dating life and who chooses to date. And the fact that all of these women are interested in Pete Davidson is, has become a little bit of a phenomenon to the rest of the world. So if you want a video on that with Pete Davidson, I would love to do that as well and an analysis about that. But today we're going to be focusing on the beautiful and interesting Madeline Klein. So I wanted to look at the aspects of her that makes her very feminine, that's able to attract a lot of attention, a lot of fans are interested in her, as well as capturing the attention of a guy like Pete Davidson. So I think that's so interesting to dissect and try to learn from. So number one, one thing that strikes me about Madeline Klein is that she has a very down-to-earth energy about her. She seems like she interacts with people in a very non-arrogant way because I know celebrities can kind of have this reputation of being very arrogant and a little bit stuck up. But if you look at her TikToks, the way that she j jumps on trends, she interacts with her fans, she also had this one i think she was at paris fashion week and she met a famous tiktoker that is um pretty famous on tiktok but she uh was fangirling over him and he was fangirling over her because she's this big celebrity this big actress but she was just as enamored by by meeting this uh, tiktoker that is really funny by the way but i don't remember his name quite now but my whole point is that she interacts with the world and people in general in a very down-to-earth manner. She makes it herself seem as if you've known each other for years and she makes you feel comfortable and that you guys are each other's um, friends. And I think that's a very interesting and, and beautiful quality to have. I've met a hand, handful of people that have made me feel like that. When I first meet them and it's like an instant click and you feel like you've been friends for years even though we only met this person once, that's a certain type of energy that only a, a few people know how to really capture or how to really maintain that type of energy. So I think it's really interesting if if we all try to adapt this type of um, energy around us. When you meet people that you don't know or you're just met, if you make them feel comfortable around you and try to make talk to them as if there's someone close to you in the sense that you don't need to reveal everything about yourself, of course. I mean, mystery is a big part of femininity. But I mean more in the sense that you talk to them in a very down-to-earth manner. Let's say you're at the store and you're talking to the cashier. When she asks you, how was your day? Don't just say, oh, it's good. That's it. No, ask her back, how is your day? And then she will be like, yeah, it's been good. And then be like, oh, I'm happy that it's good for you. You know, those small interactions like this can make other people feel good and that they know you and you're very down to earth, which is only positive. And obviously, that's very positive for Madeline Klein's reputation. But also, that's something we can also have in our everyday lives, interact with people with such a down to earth, but also relatable way. And that way, people will think of you as more likable and more kind and, and think good thoughts of you. And secondly, Madeline Klein is very honest about her life. She talks very openly about the eating disorder she had struggled with for many years. Uh, you can Google that or go to YouTube to check her stories about that. But she's very 
she's very open about it and she she's honest and she shows the very honest and vulnerable side to herself and i think that's admirable um as i said before that might be contradicting with the fact that being mysterious is about keeping certain things private and uh, keeping um, some things just for the mystery but i think being able to talk about topics that do interest you uh which i talk a lot about in the kaya gerber analysis i've done before that i will link down below uh, where i talk about this deeper about the fact that you should find certain cases or certain topics that really interest you and be open about your opinions about them be selective and in her case she's very honest about her eating disorder because she knows that she has so many female fans that will benefit from learning about this and maybe take her advice and feel like they have someone to look to up to and obviously that's only good for her image but it's also positive in the sense that we can take this as well are there certain topics that you are so interested in and trying to help other people with um i don't know like it could be anything uh if it's about helping other people and i think if you uh, indulge yourself in that and you show passion for it and that's something you desire to help people with i think that can really benefit you as a person human being and it makes you very feminine because it makes you very healthy feminine because it showcases a side of you which is being compassionate and being interested and those are all amazing qualities to have in yourself so i think that's really something we can take from madeline klein and next is she's not afraid to be feminine and when i mean feminine i mean she's not afraid to dress up wear makeup be super passionate about skincare i think that's what i really like about madeline klein because when i look at her instagram she is a bit different from other celebrities that focuses more on these natural non-makeup pictures being very in their um more natural elements well i which is nothing wrong about that but what makes Madeline a little bit different is the fact that she does show these glam photos of herself. She shows the fact that she's done her own makeup. And she shows an interest in fashion and that she likes looking feminine. And she loves putting on makeup and skincare. And I think as I said, those are very um, uh, important things in femininity is to not be afraid to tap into your femininity don't be afraid to play with your makeup your clothes your style your hair all of these things make up who you are and it's beautiful to be able to be a woman and uh, tools to use to express yourself how you want to be you can express yourself through makeup, through hair, through style, and those are all great things. So um, I think that's also what I like with Madeline Klein. She does that. She loves doing all of these things, and she shows that she does and isn't afraid to show the world that this is who I am. I love to put on makeup and dress up and go out with my friends and have a great time. And I think that's really, really amazing, and we can all take a little bit away from that. So don't be... Um, don't feel bad about it is my whole point last but not least madeline klein is rarely in drama i try to search throughout the web and i haven't seen that much drama that's surrounding her the only thing that people are more interested in with her is uh, the fact that she's dating pete davidson but obviously that's um something else but um I think I like the fact that she did date her co-star in Outer Banks, but and it was a pretty public relationship. But she keeps a very friendly relationship with him, and he's, you know, gone on to be in a relationship with somebody else, and she seems to be completely in a good relationship with both of them, and no drama. And I think that speaks a lot to her character that she's not into the whole being spiteful ex role because that's easy to fall into when you're in the public eye as well. So to be able to be mature, move on, keep your baggages in the past, be positive and welcome the world, I think are important traits to have in order to move on and not look like the spiteful ex that um, 
your ex-boyfriend uh, bad mouths and even if they do they they have no proof that you are this spiteful ex because you have showed so much maturity and so much um growth that you wouldn't even care to think about uh what your ex is doing and who he is dating the only thing you are is giving them smiles and such positive um energy one thing i've always believed in um i think dita von Thies once said this uh which i've always taken with me throughout my life which is she said something that no matter how relationships end make sure you end with dignity and i think that's so beautiful because oftentimes and i've made this mistake myself but oftentimes when you end relationships whether that's romantic or platonic or whatever um oftentimes it's easy to fall into grudges and fall into being spiteful and mean because um we're human beings it's a part of being human having these emotions but if you're able to leave every relationship with dignity it says so much about you and in fact it makes the person that you ended your relationship with it makes them think of themselves and question themselves because they think that you are just this person that is so admirable who's able to just mature and move on and they can't probably do the same thing so that's why you will always have an impact on that person's life because you have done the opposite of being um of being immature you've done the opposite of what most people would do which would be to be mean you have risen above you've shown dignity and those are the most attractive traits to ever have trust me i've had um i've had relationships where i didn't end them well and none of them uh ever wanted to uh, reach out after that because they got that confirmation that they did the right thing because i'm a mean person in the way that i responded back to them but in those situations where i did actually ended in a very mature way and with dignity they've all wanted to have contact with me afterwards because they were such an awe of the fact that i was able to be calm cool collected but also positive and it makes them question if they even had an impact in my life and that really you know really taps into people's uh self-esteem if they see that they have no effect or control over you um that makes them question themselves and that's kind of like interesting too so do whatever you will with that information but my whole point here is to always leave every situation graceful and with dignity move on and trust me in the long run you are the one that's gonna win in that situation so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um i love you guys so much i love the way that we got to interact and comments and etc please 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 do let me know what you guys want me to make next i have um i have always room for you guys suggestions i think your guys are so smart and interesting so i want you guys to share that with me and um yeah have an have an amazing day and i will see you guys very very soon bye